Today, the DHEC Board of Directors voted on whether or not to change the classification of the drug xylene. News 19's Nate Stanley joins us in studio with more on the drug and the board's decision. Nate, what's going on? JR, the DHEC board ultimately voted to defer the schedule classification changes until next year's legislative session. However, the agency still believes regulations for the drug are needed. Xylazine is a non-opioid veterinary anesthetic, basically tranquilizer, uh, that is used for large animals and not intended for human use or consumption or anything in that capacity. Ashley Bodiford is the director of prevention at Laredac, a drug treatment facility in Columbia. She says the drug xylazine, also known as Trank, is growing in popularity nationally and here locally in the Midlands. Um, oftentimes we're seeing it being cut or manufactured into other substances, again, like I mentioned, fentanyl or cocaine. The drug's original purpose is for animals. However, xylazine currently doesn't have any reversal drugs available to the public. So we've seen some success and some benefit with people having Narcan and Naloxone on hand to reverse an opioid overdose. If xylazine is being introduced, that can't be reversed. On Wednesday, the Department of Health and Environmental Control discussed the possibility of changing the classification of the drug to a Schedule Three substance in the state. The board chose to defer the vote, saying legislators in the state house are making efforts to change the classification in the 2024 legislative session. And we need to do the right thing to protect South Carolinians, especially since we're in charge of public health. Um, but we've been asked by the uh, certain legislators to kick it their way and give them the opportunity to take this up. Bodiford says she hopes more conversations like this will help aid the epidemic of drug addiction. We certainly support anything that can help keep our communities safe. Now, Bodifer says if you are struggling with substance abuse, abuse to seek help and don't be afraid to speak up. Reporting in studio, Nate Stanley, News 19, WLTX.